I've gone ahead and done a couple more searches again in PubMed just to get citations in my library. I looked for um, various combinations of search terms including hypertension and and then using the word review in just the title and then hypertension and the word overview in the title. And so I've gone fairly quickly up to uh, over 700 references and it's time to do a little cleaning before we move forward. So first thing I want to do with search terms that are so similar to each other is eliminate duplicates. Nice handy feature. So I'm going to come up onto my menu bar under references and scroll down to find duplicates. And somehow, magically, there are only two duplicates. Actually, I already did a little cleaning. Um, so if you're just searching and you're adding and you're doing this and you haven't taken any notes or put any PDFs in your file, then you can pretty easily just choose one or the other. Um, it's something you want to bear in mind when you add references to your library. Don't delete references you've already done some work on. So right now, I'm just going to keep this record on the left and then we're good to go. If you have a lot of duplicates that come in, when you do your search for duplicates, you can right click and delete any duplicates just blindly in one fell swoop. So nice handy feature to keep the number of potential references down. Now one other handy thing that I realized is that in order to get rid of citations that are not in your language of your choice, you can go ahead and do a search in the title for article titles that contain that bracket. So if I search, I've got 12 articles in here that are from Croatia, uh, Georgian medicine, um, probably published in Chinese. I'm not going to be able to use them, so I can go ahead and select all of these references. In my group, right click, move them to trash. And now I'm coming down to a more manageable 743 potential citations to use. And over time, you can pare down this list. If you come across an article and you think this is not at all relevant, you can go ahead and delete it. Uh, and that keeps your library a little bit more manageable. What we're building here is we're building a database just for you to use. So there's no single database out there in the world that has research on hypertension and health coaching or hypertension and health education. It's scattered amongst a whole bunch of different databases. So I build my custom database here. So the next thing we want to do is search within our library to get to know what we have. And I'd like to take you to a citation so you can see what they look like. So right now I'm in all references. I am going to go ahead and search in the title for my coaching article. So I'll just search for the word root word coach and see what turns up. And I've got 23 articles that have the word coach in the title. So let's go ahead and come here to a 2017 article and a little thing in terms of what you're seeing on your screen as you find citations that are useful for you you can rate them with a number of stars and that helps you sort through what's in your library to find articles that are your go-to for citations for whatever you have expertise on so that's what the rating column is the journal abbreviations are just standard last updated when you imported your citations and right now our reference types are all journal articles so I'm going to go ahead and double click on this citation and this takes me into the reference window so first thing to look at is up here at the top the reference type if you're citing other types of works you can choose that here so if if I decide I'm going to pull in an encyclopedia entry the field will change and later on we'll go into manually entering citations but you can see that you have lots of choices and this is really important for how your bibliography is managed so the default is journal articles and here again if you like this citation or eventually if you like the article itself you can give it a rating so notice that the author names are listed on lines that's going to be important uh, for entering things later last name first and then initial or first name year title of article for some citation um, forms, you would want to change the capitalization here. We're not going to worry about that just yet, but it's something to keep in mind. Here's the journal, professional case management, volume, issue, pages. This is all the important stuff that you need. There's a scroll down bar to scroll down in the various bits of information that is extracted or that you can add to. 
And here you have the abstract that's imported from PubMed. So this helps to give additional metadata to search through the articles that end up in your library. So um, you can add your own keywords here in your library as you like. Um, and that might be helpful if you decide you want to take, uh, let's say, not just chronic disease management, but you want to take health coaching and apply it to some other condition. That's, my, again, of interest to me. So scrolling down, um, access date, some of these fields would be important if you were working on creating a more robust annotated bibliography. Um, for most research uh, purposes, we really just want to find citations, find a way to categorize information and enter it. But these are the pretty much the fields that give us our metadata for journal articles. So when you exit out of your reference, there's a little X over on the top of your screen. Don't exit out of your library. Just cross out of your reference here and you can come back into your library and that will show you the article that you just looked at. So you can sort your library by author, first author, last name. You can sort by year. You can also sort by title. If you want to search within your library, if you come into all references, that was how I searched for the title for the word coaching. I can also search with the same areas that I did for my other uh, web-based search. I can search for particular keywords or words in the abstract. So this is a chance for you to add keywords to the words that already show up and really navigate the resources that you're putting locally on your computer.